Welcome to the channel everybody, my name is Ryan and we are back with more Caves of Cud today. We are about to jump into a brand new Esper run, that's right, the Mental Mutations only. So I'm really excited, I've been trying a bunch of different runs, failing, but I think this is going to be the one I've got a good feeling about this time around. So let's jump into it right away, but first there are links to the playlist for this series and all my other Caves of Cud down in the description and right now I'm currently playing with the clever girl mod which was recommended to me by a commenter in fact I've had some really great comments over my past series so if you are a new player and you go back and watch those videos scroll down and check out the comments for those because they've been helping me out a ton I appreciate everybody out there so like I say let's go ahead and build the character real quick hit that like button for me subscribe if you're new and let's make an esper and one thing I forgot to mention is that, of course, we just had a big update to the game recently. It's a UI update, and if you read the notes on it, it does say that this is the last major patch before the 1.0 release. So that is very, very exciting. But anyway, let's get to our character creation. So I'm no expert on the game. I've been playing a lot lately, so I do know exactly what I want with this build. So we're going to go with the Tinkerer background. Like I said, we're going to do an Esper here. I've been using the, I'm putting a point into Unstable Genome. It's hit or miss, you know. Some runs you get like three or four free mutations with it. Sometimes I get none. So it is quite costly. We'll go ahead and try it. Maybe we'll get lucky. Like I said, I got a good feeling about this one. So as it is, I do know the build I want. We're going to go with Force Bubble, Force Bubble for defense. And then we will go with Light Manipulation for offense to start off. So pretty bare bones build. We're not going to do any mental defects. I'm not quite good enough to overcome some of these but either way this is a solid build actually it's going to be a very squishy build but let's go ahead and proceed uh maybe that's why i've been having such luck i don't put any <laughs> points into toughness but we are going to be a tinkerer so we want this to be pretty high let's just put it at 26 for now we also want our willpower to be extremely high that's four ego is good too let's take a couple out of there Eventually, we need this to be to 29 intelligence. Okay, that's good. That's good. Willpower is really, really important, too, of course, for our mental abilities. Yeah, and tinkering, of course. We want to max that out, but this is solid. Like I said, real squishy. No toughness, no agility, no strength. If we get into melee combat, then that's a mistake. You know, we're in serious trouble. We'll probably have a ranged weapon to fall back on when our mental mutations run out of charges but well let's just get into it we'll see here's our overview name the most important part of any run grieve is our man there he is let's go grieve you've been chosen we're going to go to joppa because there are some changes that have been made to the good old joppa city or village i should call it. it's definitely not a city but yeah, if you haven't played since the latest update, they've definitely tried to make it a little bit more friendly to new players. And I will say that the mouse feels a bit more functional. Like it's always been fairly functional in most cases, but now it just feels a little better. Let's, in fact, let's go to our inventory. I'll show you what I mean. So now we've got both inventory and the equip screen on the same page, which is helpful. And you can see like just clicking really, really makes it feel good. You know, it's it's responsive. But anyway, like I said, there's some really nice changes here. Let's go ahead and learn our data disk. Just get that out of our pocket. Okay, I'll take care of the scrap and stuff. Now, one big change to Joppa. Let me go ahead and zoom in just one time. There we go. Most of the chests now, well, two out of the three that you used to be able to steal from are kind of impossible. It's probably not totally impossible if you wait till the NPCs are out of sight, but they've actually added these, like, fence walls. Instead of a solid building, now there's view. You can see, like, right here, we can see the farmers, and they can see us. So if I were to take from this, yep, they'd go hostile. The good news is this one, with the cat inside of it, is still viable if we close the door. I don't actually know if the cat will rat us out or not, so I'm going to wait. But uh, let me go ahead and grab some of the quests. One other thing I've noticed, Argive has changed his shop quite a bit. And another like actual game-changing thing is once you've completed the wire quest for Argive, he no longer gives you the grid 
Brigade or Barthulamites quest, whatever they're called. He doesn't give that to you right away, and I don't know if it's just gated off now till you hit a certain level or what, but it's not, It's he won't even talk to you after that point, which is weird, but anyway, like I said, I'm going to pick up all the quests real quick, loot that chest as soon as I can, and then I'll show you what we come up with at the end. Okay, I've gone through all the loot. I've done the quest for Argive, at least up to the point where we leave Joppa. And he gave me some stuff. You can, of course, like I say, the place has changed, but there's still a little work rack here that you can loot from. So I got some tinkering bits and a copper nugget or two. But overall, this is what we ended up with. I'm going to go ahead and re-equip my freeze grenade. I've got two of those, which is helpful. Equip it, please. There we go. And no melee. I sold it. Like I said, if we get into melee combat, we've got a real issue. We also don't have range, but it's not super important right away. We can get one. Now, I do have a plan, though, so we're going to rely very heavily on just our light manipulation, but that's okay. So, first things first, I want to come in here and grab Scavenger, because I just we just leveled up, of course, thanks to Argive. And we're going to grab this. Yes, yes. It's very helpful to start to build up our tinkering supply. And Argive actually has some trash that we can sift through. But uh, either way, okay, so the plan is to actually go below here in Joppa. Of course, if you're unaware, there's kind of a secret passage underground. It's always right here. And it's supposed to be able, you're supposed to be able to make your way to Red Rock. Instead of going overworld like this, you can go underground. It's much more difficult, no doubt about it. Of course, it's random down there, so you might have an easier run sometimes. But we're just going to go down and peek our heads in and check it out. I don't plan on like confronting anything too terrible. We literally have 11 HP, so we are going to die pretty easily if we come across even just like a slug snout. Okay, something's down here spitting at me. It's probably one of those seed things. Yeah. Oh, there's a couple of them. Look at that. I'm already at half health. I mean, the good news is our Lays is extremely potent, but I should probably go by the steps. Yeah, let's not heal up while we're down here, but this is how it is when you're a little baby Esper like this and you've got tiny, tiny amount of HP. You've got to really just baby them. Seriously. Okay. And be careful. I'm not going to go to the edge of the map yet. I'd rather explore a little bit more, but off. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay, we got one. That guy could potentially hit me. Let's pop on our force bubble. Just be extra careful. Yeah, that thing would have killed me, probably. There's definitely more than one down here in that corner. All right, so that's a little bit too risky right now again you know it's random all dungeons caves are in this game so sometimes it's easier than others to get around down there sometimes there's like i've literally gone down there and there'll be a chest within like two or three steps but anyway we'll come back to that once we level up a little bit so let's grab some of the easy low-hanging fruit real quick Okay, so I did grab the location of several different secrets or historical sites. Um, of course, we can always go to the still to Red Rock. We just need to travel to Red Rock to get a little experience. So that's what I mean by the low-hanging fruit, of course, is just get the easy stuff. Sometimes it can be tricky because you zoom into Red Rock and you'll be surrounded by baboons sometimes. You can't get out of there, but let's risk it. There's 50 XP. Oh, look at this. Baboons everywhere. Again, good news is my lays is extremely potent, but we kind of showed up in the middle of the night here. Let's go down. Okay. Okay, they're following me. All we have is our torch to see by. I should maybe pay attention to the day-night cycle a little bit more. I mean, it's one thing if you're coming in with like 100 HP. It's not such a big deal. You could just roll through, but we need to be exceptionally careful here. They're just, they'll exhaust their ammo at some point and come charging into the light. Here we go. Sun's coming up. And yeah, the laze comes out, baby. All right, let's take a look at that. Because we got an attribute point that's immediately going into intelligence. Now again, didn't get that unstable genome there, unfortunately. And at this low level, we can't put individual points in, can we? Um, you may not advance this mutation's rank yet. 
Yeah, I think we need to be a little bit higher before we can... So, in other words, we just need to wait for four points to buy a mutation. But, we do have some skill points here. I've got... I wouldn't mind deploy turret, but I don't really have any thing yet. This is a good one. Some of these, like, the salt dunes is good to buy when we're ready to go up to the stilt. Honestly, I think I'm just going to sit on it. I'd like to get self-discipline too for meditation, but <laughs> with only 12 HP, it's actually not that big a deal. But anyway, let's go ahead. Wait till the sun comes up a bit. Another great thing about Lays, 100% accurate, and I can literally shoot it from across the map. Never misses. And it almost seems like it's got infinite range. I don't know if that's quite true. It might have a range, but it's a ridiculous one if it does. All right, we're at five charges. Let's go ahead and whip up a little campfire here. No cooking yet either. That's good enough. All right, let's move into Red Rock again. It's helpful to clear this place out. All right, we got a yellow boy over here. Let's take him out first. Definitely tougher than their brown cousins, but... Nice, another level. Look at that. What did I tell you? Oh, so we got one charge left. Let's take this guy out and we'll fall back to our little fire and just wait. Yeah, meditate would be great. Let's go ahead and check out our... We got one more mutation point to go. Uh, I think I will just go ahead and grab uh, self-discipline. Yeah, so we get meditate right off the bat for free. Okay. That's good. It is helpful. I think it helps to recharge some of the mental mutations a little quicker. I'm not sure about that. That's not what the wiki says. It just mentions healing and negative status effects, but I feel like it does. <laughs> Maybe I'm crazy. All right, we got four charges, five. Let's go back in. They're just standing on the edge of the screen. Sometimes they'll follow you if they're really aggravated, but these guys are kind of cowardly. Here we go. We're probably safe now to just well, is there somebody nearby? We can probably just explore the map. Pick off the individual baboons. Oh, yeah. There we go. Look at that. Oh, man. We're crushing it already. So, after self-discipline, I'm not worried about that. Let's... Reverse engineer is also extremely important. Let's just hold on our skill points and let's focus on our brand new mutation. Here we go. Cryokinesis. Chill a nearby area with your mind. That's pretty cool, actually. Time dilation, you distort around your person in order to slow your enemies. Very helpful for getting away. Space-time vortex. Yeah, that one can be also very helpful. Hmm. So we got one offense and two defense. I mean, this is kind of offense, right? It doesn't necessarily do damage, but it would help crowd control, essentially. I honestly think maybe time dilation. I'm more familiar with this is one I've actually played with. I've never done cryokinesis, but this one, like I said, can definitely help us get away, which we're going to need, man. Oh, yeah, I've said it before and I've heard others say it, but so much of this game is just escaping from combat. All right, let's check out our bar. They put time dilation right up front. I like that. All right, I don't need rifle through trash high on the list let's move that down a little bit that's fine all right for now we don't really need to fill out the bar make camp i would kind of hold on i would kind of like time dilation just up one there we go perfect all right continue to explore red rock i probably won't go below ground here i'll just wait and we'll head to the rust wells and try and get the wire after this. Check the surface of all three rust wells. Again, just going for the easy experience and questing and stuff. If we have to go below ground, that's fine. But hopefully we'll have one or two more levels before then. All right, well, we ended up with 122 feet of the wire after searching all three of the surface rust wells. Still don't have a ranged weapon and still don't have a melee weapon, which isn't really that important. But the good news is I did level up. So let's check that out. We are now up to 320 skill points. And that's really the benefit of having such a high intelligence. We do have one mutation point just chilling. Um... Do, will it, can, 
Okay, sweet. We we can increase the rank now. Awesome. So that's good. Light manipulation is up. Let's look this rank. Laser penetration nine, five. That's our ambient light. Okay, I just want to see if we got any extra charges. Now, I think we're still a maximum five, but that's okay. We'll get up there. We're doing pretty good here. Let's see. So I just ate. Had a little meal, and it is time to go below ground now. So, we're going to walk to the nearest staircase. Okay, let's see. Oh, crap. Immediately. <laughs> All right. There's some wire. We got 123 feet of it. i tell you, as soon as I find, what is it, 200 feet that we need, I'm out of here. We're not going to try and fully explore these right now. We'll come back to them, because there usually is some good loot at the bottom of these things, but... Yeah, it's just a little bit above us, some of these deeper levels. I'm comfortable in the first stratum here, but if we go below that, yeah, we come across some slumberlings or slug snouts. Just one shot me. Yeah, in all fairness, this probably could be stuff on the first level that could one shot me if we're not careful. Or two or three shot me. <laughs> Alright, we gotta get kind of close to these guys, but look at this. Just clearing kudzu, it's kind of tedious at times, but honestly, it's worth the experience, no doubt about it. Especially if you have a really safe way of dispatching them, like the lays. Which ordinarily, we don't have to get next to them, but that's okay. It's a little awkward, see, he'll hit the wall unless I get right diagonal with these guys. There we go. Look at this. Oh, let's fall back, and we'll just go into meditation, let our charges go up, but... We are a kudzu killing machine down here. Here we go, some decent loot, at least for this early stage in the game. So right now I'm on the second rust well. Uh, let's just grab it, the kudzu's not a threat. There we go, yeah, so we're on the second rust well, the first stratum. That other one, I almost got all the way there. First of all, let's put on our brand new null worm and skull. There we go. I'm trying to get more familiar with the um, the little pieces here what these things refer to so our armor value versus our dodge value i believe is what that is and if we look at the uh no worm these are essentially the same then yeah this one might be a little tougher i don't know oh it gives us ego boost that's better yeah that's for sure better than this so they have the same armor and dodge value but yeah um, so either way, dodge means how likely it is you are hit, and then your armor means how much you'll be hit for. You know, so once those hits get through, armor is what's going to help protect your life. But anyway, again, just trying to get used to it. There's so many facets of the game, but that's what makes a game like this great. Anyway, let's go ahead and examine. Should be good here. Love injector, nice. I might break that down. Because if we get beguiling, it's kind of the same, except beguiling's permanent. We'll use that for food, possibly. But either way, let's see. I've got an iron sword now. We'll go ahead and equip that again. If we get into melee, it's kind of a mistake. But still, it's good to have something, at least for now. So, Okay, we're not at war with the beetle. He was just hitting the kudzu there. Alright, so it's a delicate process, but I do like to put it on automate. It's a little bit quicker. I mean, as long as my lays charges are f good to go, we're kind of, like, unbeatable. Well, that's not true at all. I mean, offensively, we're good to go. But when those things run out, it can become a real pain. Did we get everything here? What's going on? Um, get? There we go. Sometimes the loot thing is a little funky. Ooh, I like that shield. We should definitely get this, put the... Yeah, we get a little bit of re reputation with unshelled reptiles. But I'm going to go ahead and auto-equip that. Beautiful. Forget the ashes. So that reduced our dodge value a little bit, but brought up that armor value. Two and two now. That's not bad. All right, and we continue to explore while trying not to fall into the rust well. And there it is. We have completed the Weird Wire Conduit Eureka quest. Let's go. So yeah, I'm getting the heck out of here. Time to walk to the nearest upward staircase and go back to Joppa. Okay, we made it to the world map. Let's move. It's a short trip, but <laughs> there we go. You can still easily get lost, even if you're just literally one or two tiles from Joppa. But there we go. Immediately regained our bearings. 
in a map full of enemies. So let's see, we do have six laser charges. Blowing through these guys real quick. Nice. Now there's a bunch of other enemies. I wouldn't mind just checking these corpses and getting out of here. Well, looks like they're kind of fighting. Oh, there's a weird artifact. Get that. We got um, which would wreath. Oh, give me this. Yeah, give me that. All right, and okay, who lived? Who died? The tortoise lived. He's no longer my friend. Up, oh, we're out of charges. Salt Hopper's still fighting down there too. He's probably not going to make it if he's taking on those horse enemies. Look at the horses. Nice. Sorry, horses. Stole your little XP kill. So, we just leveled up again. We've got 434 skill. That's insane. One mutation point. I almost want to look at my force bubble. Let's see. 3x3, three three, 22 rounds. I wonder... I, I need to go online and look at like some of the high levels. Like, what other things might... Uh, occur with this mutation if we level it up high enough let's also look at time dilation creatures the nine okay pretty small incremental changes there light manipulation um again nothing great actually that that one increases the damage 1d4 to 1d5 which is pretty darn good all right, we'll go ahead and grab that. I'm going to level up Lightning Dump. I mean, that's I constantly use it, so I feel like it's probably a smart choice. But either way, let's get out of here and get back to Joppa. Boom, we've made it. Our guy is patiently awaiting his wire, so let's give it to him. Now, remember, I mentioned initially that after this, he won't talk to you again. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, or I think it might just be redesigned, so it's kind of gated off. So you don't go kill yourself at the grid gate right away, thinking this is your next place to go. But either way, if you want to trade with Archive, now is the time to do it. Because again, once you've turned in the wire, you won't have access to his inventory and stuff. So it's good to look at it. Usually at this point, all of his stuff is way out of my price range. Unless you know some easy, quick trick to making tons of water. Yeah, it's hard to really buy anything from him. So just take the wire, old man. Boom. Okay, so we hooked this up. I feel like... Was there something else we could loot in his little cabin? I'm not sure, but either way, let's check and see what we did get from him. So we've got this weird artifact that was something we picked up. Uh, whoops. Flaming hand axe. Oh, good. It's got a cell in it. Let's take that out. And we will identify the cell. Fidget cell. Beautiful. It's used. Go ahead and equip it. Nice. So we'll recharge that through kinetic action. Very beautiful. Let's see. Oh, there's our recoiler. It's lacquered too. Nice. Let's go ahead and replace the cell. And we will now identify that cell. Cell. It's used. I'm just going to go ahead and put it right back in there because we might use the recoiler. No doubt about it. Uh, install. And I don't think, yeah, I don't have any other cells at all. So not too bad. Not too bad. I, I'm going to keep the wire. Maybe take it up to the stilt because I, I, there might be a vendor up there who pays a little bit more for it. I haven't confirmed that yet, but did we place our chest down? No, I like to place a chest right here at this location, just above Joppa, so I can easily hit backspace, and I'll usually set up a fire, campfire right next to it, so I can get to it easy, and just drop my nuggets and any excess water that's weighing me down. Because with an Esper, of course, we have 165 maximum carry, which is almost nothing <laughs> but uh anyway guys i think this is probably a good place to end it we've still got a lot of work to do we got a red rock quest obviously get to the stilt that might be something fun but we've done pretty good for our first esper episode i wonder what you guys think let me know down in the comments again the comments you guys have provided me in the past has been extremely helpful so if if there's anything else I should know, please point it out. But hit that like button too, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys on the next one.
Hey everyone, I just want to give a personal thank you to my Patreon supporters. Their contributions help make my work possible and I am tremendously grateful to them. I'd also like to extend an invitation to you to help support my work on Patreon as well. Your donations allow me to upgrade my PC and avoid the dreaded hardware despair. It also gives me more time to devote to new projects and create longer content such as live streaming. No matter what what you decide. Thank you for visiting my channel.